Thank you all for being here today. Let me just say I've been through the community all day and everyone's talking about the possibility of snow, possibility of ice, inclement weather. And one of the things you can see around this room is we have a great working relationship internally in local government, but also with state government as well. And I'm very pleased that everyone is here. We want to take this opportunity to kind of share to you behind the scenes what's going on in preparation in case we do have a storm and we have to deal with it. A lot of uh, prep work goes in beforehand. One of the things we're asking citizens to do is monitor the newscast, monitor the weather, uh, and be prepared just like we are becoming prepared as a police agency. But one of the things that I do want to address that is a concern for us as the police department is the rolling blackouts that we're experiencing. Uh, as we go throughout the night, we are going to be monitoring the rolling blackouts. Uh, areas that are located by our lieutenants will be called in. Uh, we will be instituting changes in our staffing levels in those areas. One of the things that happens anytime you have rolling blackouts is there's a possibility that someone out there is going to try to take advantage of that and commit some type of theft. We have at our disposal after a meeting earlier today 75 additional officers that we can call upon in these areas and we are willing and will do that if necessary. Uh, we hope that we do not have anyone that tries to take advantage of this situation, but rest assured we're going to do our best to keep anyone from breaking the law and taking advantage of the rolling blackouts. If you have any medicine that you need to get, go get it now. Uh, if you uh, need some food, if you have an elderly person, uh, go take care of them, look into them. One of the things that I'm asking citizens to do, if you have someone that lives near you that has some type of special need, whether uh, it's an elderly with the pharmaceuticals that they may need or someone with some type of physical handicap, an elderly individual, please check on them to make sure they're okay. And as always, if there's an emergency, dial 911 immediately. Um, again, the rolling blackouts caused the uh, signals on our local streets to go out without power. I uh, just want to reiterate the fact that uh, when a motorist does come to an intersection that is dark, or a signal that is dark, is to come to a complete stop. Uh, without having a stop sign there, um, they need to come to a complete stop. Also, take your time. If, you're, if you absolutely have to be out on the roads, on the, on the local streets, to please take your time to get to your destination and for employers to be patient with their employees and also be mindful that uh, there are some schools that are be closing and also that uh, uh, some folks might uh, be dangerous to get to work. Is, you know, we're pretty serious because we talk about operation and public safety, but you know what, it doesn't really snow a lot here in Corpus Christi. So if you're at home, enjoy the time with your family. You know, we don't want to give the thought that we're all, you know, there, there shouldn't be any major concerns or any panic. We're sitting here as a police department saying that we're getting ready operationally, that if we have issues that develop, but at the same time, there's a lot of people in this town that are excited. Stay home, enjoy yourself if we do end up having snow. And if we don't, the good thing about this is we're working together. It's another incident we can learn from. You know, sooner or later, there will be a critical incident that's going to task all of us in our resources. And it's good to know that we have such valuable partners, not only internally, locally, but also uh, externally with the state and also our federal friends that help out when we do have a major incident.